What's up, y'all? It's your girl Shantia, and I'm back with another banger, another word, okay? Now, listen, y'all, I got a word for y'all today, but before we get into the word, I'm gonna be obedient to what God asked me to do. And so, right now, God is asking only if you have it, okay? Now, listen, those that know me know that I do not get on these videos. I don't ask y'all for money, I don't ask y'all for see any of that. If you give it, I receive it. But, anyways, um, coming up, I will be working with homeless shelters in my city okay and they also are getting money for thanksgiving you know it's getting cold outside feeding the homeless and all of that stuff and so if you have ten dollars okay just ten dollars to sow a seed into the homeless people families women children okay that are homeless during this time um i will link the um my cash app and things below that's connected to my business um so that i am able to give back to these homeless shelters and also when i go in there to speak to the people um they also will hear a word from god at the same time okay and so listen child i'm going to be obedient to ask you all if you have the ten dollars make sure that you show it um this is probably like my first time asking specifically regarding like feeding the homeless and stuff every single year y'all i'm always giving back last year I made Thanksgiving myself and um, put plates together and was just driving around my city, okay? Finding people to bless with food that were out on the street. And so listen, y'all everybody deserves to feel love okay and to also be fed and so listen if you have it give it if not it's okay but anyways y'all so let's get straight into the word and so the title of this video is um god is giving you a second chance at life god is giving you a second chance at life okay and listen when god gave me the title of this word y'all it hit my soul. I received it because I've been feeling like I just needed a whole like reset. Okay. Your girl has been over here. I wouldn't say struggling, but there comes moments and times in life where your fight starts to die down and it feels like you know the enemy is just getting one up on you because you just don't even have the strength to fight anymore okay and so when i heard those words god has given you a second chance at life um it, it did something to me and so god told me to share it so listen y'all so the person that he brought to my mind when speaking on you know god is giving you a second chance at life was jonah okay and now listen we all know the story about jonah okay <laughs> And so if you don't know the story about Jonah Child, go find them, okay, and go read it. Um, but anyways, I love Jonah because Jonah was somebody who ran from God, okay? And so he heard an instruction from God, what he was supposed to do, and he ended up running from God. Now listen, Jonah ain't the only one, okay, in this life where you hear an instruction from God, and then you end up running from that instruction, or maybe you're not obeying or doing the thing that God asked you to do the first time okay and so that's what jonah did jonah was running from god and so listen child fast forward from like the story of jonah okay he gets thrown in you know off the ship okay ends up in the belly of the fish okay and so there were two parts in jonah so in jonah 2 10 this is what i loved and it says um after jonah is crying out to god in the belly of the fish it says and the lord commanded the fish and it vomited jonah onto dry land listen we could have stopped there because all of that is confirmation that regardless of whatever season you're in god will command anything in your life and to move in your favor in order to get you to where you need to be and so in that moment jonah was in the belly of a fish in the ocean and god commanded that fish to spit him out onto dry ground it kind of makes me thank you holy spirit it kind of makes me think of y'all that video that i did um uh what's yours will find you i think that was the title i can't remember but it was a video where i lost my phone in the middle of the water okay and then the phone washes up on shore okay if you haven't seen the video go watch it child crazy but anyways it makes me think of that it's just a reminder that god is so god that he will command anything in this world to move 
to move on your on your behalf and in your favor in order to get you to where you need to go okay and so listen i love that part of god commanding the fish to um you know let him go into dry ground right but here's the part that got me so in jonah 3 verse 1 and 2 it says then the word of the lord came to jonah a second time then the word of the Lord came to Jonah a second time. Now pause. I love that because it shows just how compassionate God is. Y'all, it's hot. It shows just how compassionate God is. It shows how loving God is. It shows how patient God is with us and how God will still give us a second chance at life, a second chance to obey, a second chance to get it right, okay? And then it goes on to say, you know, when God says, go to the great city of Nineveh and proclaim um, to it the message that I give you. And so just speaking on second chances and speaking on a second wind, okay? Listen, child, we all are in need of a second chance at life because none of us, none of us ever gets it right, especially the first time. And even if you think you get it right the first time, most of us, it's like we get part of it right and then we like misstep because we're trying to rush the process in order to get to the place that God promised us. And it's like now we got to start all over because God is like now you're trying to be me and you're trying to rush the process. And really, I wanted you to sit in this season just a little bit longer because there were some things that I wanted to show you and teach you before I released you. Listen, child. And so I thought that that was so good. And the thing that I wrote down that stuck out to me the most in my spirit was that I said, some of you asked God to bless you, but he broke you. Some of you in this season have been praying and asking God to bless you and God broke you. And there was a reason that God broke you before he blessed you because he needed you to acknowledge the pain. He needed you to acknowledge your faults. He needed you to acknowledge certain things in your life to take accountability for it so that you're able to see yourself and see the season that you're in from a different perspective before he brings you into another opportunity, before he releases a second chance, okay? Listen, child. And I thought that this was so, so good. And it hit my spirit so beautifully, especially just Jonah, okay? Um, specifically Jonah, because a lot of times we feel like we're not deserving or we don't deserve a second chance at life because maybe we've made so many mistakes okay or maybe your mistakes have cost you time in prison maybe you are somebody who was sitting there watching this video behind a cell listen child god says you still have an opportunity and he's still going to give you a second chance at life there is no mistake so great there is no mistake so great that you could ever do or commit that will A, separate you from the love of God or B, stop God from blessing you or stop God from using you the way in which he intended to use you before you were formed in your mother's womb. Listen, child, God is attracted to dysfunction. God is, is attracted to our dysfunction. God is attracted to our messes. God is attracted to our mistakes. Because he looks at that and he's like, okay, they can't fix that, but I can. Listen, child. I thought that that was so, so good. And so this is a reminder to somebody that no matter how many times you may run away from God, no matter how many times you want to let go of God, no matter how many times you want to throw in the tower, no matter how many times you're disobedient, no matter how many times you stray away, no matter how many times you run away, I just want to tell you right now that God will never let go of you. God will never let go of you. He is a compassionate and a loving God. And some of us just have to end up in situations like Jonah 
okay? In a dark place, in the belly of a fish, where there's nothing there but you and the presence of God. And all you have to do, all you get to do is to cry out unto God until God releases you onto dry ground to do what it is that he asked you to do the first time. And so listen, child, God is about to spin the block, okay? He's about to come back to you. He's about to give you more instructions. He's about to tell you what to do again. And this time he wants you to be obedient. This time he wants you to, to take it seriously. This time he wants you to listen to what it is that he's asking you to do. So that you don't have to take any more missteps in this season. But that you're actually walking the path that God has called you to walk on. So that you can get to the destination that he already predestined for you to be in. Listen child. I don't know who this word is for but I know it's for somebody. But it's a confirmation and God wants you to know that he's about to give you a second chance at life. And I believe in you. And I believe that this time is the time where you're going to get it right. This time is the time where it's going to make sense. This time is the time where you will have favor, unexplainable favor everywhere you go. This time is the time where the bank will give you, will approve your loan. This time is the time where you will receive the keys to your new car. This time is the time where the, when you go to have that conversation with your loved one, things are going to shift in your favor. This time is the time where your mind is going to be renewed, where your habits are going to change. Listen, child, I don't know who you are, but I know that you've been crying and you've been praying and you've been waiting like Jonah in the belly of the fish. And God says, whatever had you backed in this season, whatever darkness was surrounding you in this season is about to spit you up onto dry ground and God is going to give you a second chance at life okay <laughs> anyways y'all I pray that you all can receive this blessed and prosperous and beautiful word I love you all make sure um to donate if you have it I will link everything down below I'm excited for your journey and I will see you all next time bye